Hello, good day. Our lesson is about graphing linear equations. So, there are different types of graphing linear equations. First is using two points. So, if the given are two points, you just simply plot the points of the given equation. Example number one, graph the equation of a line that passes through points 4, 5 and 1, 1. So given the two points, just plot each point. How to plot 4, 5? Of course, that is on the first quadrant because they are both positive. So 4 of the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis. So that is the corresponding point of 4, 5. Next is 1, 1, 1 of the x-axis and one of the y-axis. So that is now the corresponding point. After plotting the two points, you just simply connect these points. Next is the equation of a line that passes through negative 1, 3 and negative 2, negative 1. Plot negative 1, negative 1 of the x-axis and going up on the y-axis because 3 is positive. So that is the point. Next is negative 2 of the x-axis and negative 1. So we will move down because that is negative. So that is the corresponding point of negative 2, negative 1. Just simply connect the two points and that is now the line of the equation. Next is graphing linear equation using the x and the y intercept. You're asked to graph 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 using the x and the y intercept. First is let us get the x intercept. So how do we find the x intercept? We will let y be equal to 0. So our equation will become 2x plus 3 times 0 is equal to 6. Since 3 times 0 is equal to 0, so we only have 2x is equal to 6. Dividing By dividing both sides by 2, you have x is equal to 3. Because 6 divided by 2 is 3. Thus, your x-intercept is 3, 0. In finding the y-intercept, we will let x be equal to Zero. So our equation will become 2 times 0 plus 3y is equal to 6. And since 2 times 0 is equal to 0, the remaining terms now are 3y is equal to 6 and divide both sides by 3 to get the value of y. y now is equal to positive 2. Thus, the y-intercept is 0, positive 2. After getting the x and the y intercepts, we will now plot this point. Since that is called x intercepts, the point must be along the x axis. So that is 3, 0. And the y intercept, the point must be along the y axis. And that is the 2, comma, or the 0, comma, 2. Points. So after plotting the points, connect them, and that is now the graph of the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. Our next example is 2x plus y is equal to 4. Let us find the x-intercepts by letting y be equal to 0. So our equation now is 2x plus 0 is equal to 4. And... 2x is equal to 4. By dividing both sides by 2, you have 2x divided by 2 is equal to x and 4 divided by 2 is equal to positive 2. Thus, the x-intercept is 2, 0. And in finding the y-intercept, we will let x be equal to 0. So our equation will now become 2 times 0 plus y is equal to 4. 2 times 0 is 0, thus the remaining terms now are y is equal to 4, which gives us the value of the y-intercept, 0, positive 4. After finding the x and the y-intercepts, let's plot the points. 2, 0 is the x-intercept, so that is along the x 
axis. And 0, 4 is the y-intercept, so that is along the y-axis. So we will now connect these two points, and that is now the graph of the equation 2x plus y is equal to 4. Next is graphing linear equation using the slope and a point. So you are asked to graph the equation of the line that passes through negative 1, 3 that has a slope of 2 thirds. So the given are a point which is negative 1, 3 and the slope which is 2 thirds. So first we will plot the point negative 1, positive 3. So negative 1 of the x-axis that is going to the left and positive 3 of the y-axis that is positive, so we will move up. So that is now the corresponding point of negative 1, positive 3. To find the other point, we will use the slope. Remember that the slope is the rise over run, or the change in y over the change in x. Our change in y is 2, so we will move 2 steps up. And our change in x is positive 3. We will move 3 steps going to the right because that is positive. And we arrive at this point which is the second point of the equation. So that is now the graph of the equation of a line that passes through negative 1, 3 and has a slope of 2. Thirds. Here is the next example. You're asked to graph the equation of a line that passes through negative 4, comma, negative 2 and has a slope of negative 3 halves. First is let us plot negative 4, negative 2. Negative 4 of the x-axis and negative 2 of the y-axis. We move down because that is negative so that is the first point of the line. The second point of the line is we will find it using the slope. The slope is negative 3 over 2, which means that the change in y is negative 3. So we will move downward because that is negative. Three steps downward and two steps to the right because that is positive. So we arrived at this point, which is now the second point of the line with the coordinates negative 2, comma, negative 5. After plotting the points, we will now connect, and that is now the corresponding graph of the line that passes through negative 4, negative 2, and has a slope of negative 3 plus over and let me add also this one, graphing equation using the slope and the y-intercept. In our previous lesson, we already discussed in how to find the slope-intercept form and how to determine the slope and the y-intercept. Example is 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. First is, you have to write the equation in a slope-intercept form, and we need to determine the slope in the y-intercept. So in this example, 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. We have y is equal to 2 third x minus 2 as the slope-intercept form. So in this form, we can now easily determine the slope, which is 2 thirds, and the y-intercept is negative 2. The y-intercept, of course, is a point located along the y-axis. So let us plot the y-intercept, which is negative 2. And to determine or to find the second point, we will use the slope. Change in y is 2. So you have two points, two steps up. And the change in x is 3, which is positive. So we will step to the right 3 Time. So we arrived at that point. So that is now the corresponding point of the second point. So this is now the graph of the equation 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. Next is 3x plus y is equal to 2. First, 
find the slope intercept form and let us determine the slope in the y intercept so this is the equation the slope intercept form is y is equal to negative 3x plus 2 the slope is negative 3 which is the numerical coefficients of x and the y intercept is positive 2 so let us now plot the y intercept which is positive 2 and the slope is Negative 3 means that the change in y is negative 3 and the change in x is 1. It has a denominator which is 1, that is in the symbol 1. So negative 3, which means that we will move downwards because that's negative. So 1, 2, 3 down and to the right is 1. So we arrived at this point, which is now the second point of the line where the equation 3x plus y is equal to 2 passes. Okay, so that is now all about graphing linear equations in two variables. I hope you understand our lesson. See you next time. Thank you for listening. Bye.